For today's video I wanted to do my favourite products from 2015. I haven't really chosen that many things, if you've watched any of like my current favourite videos, I do like to change things up, but these are products that I really liked throughout the whole of 2015. I'm just going to talk a little bit about them, but there's not really that many. I'm going to start off with the biggest thing and this is the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. This has been my go-to palette kind of for every day. It is my favourite out of all of the Naked palettes but I really want to get the Naked Basics palette. Um, so if anyone's tried that then you can let me know what that's like. It's just my favourite because you've got all your nudes and then it goes into the golds and the darker browns for like a night out or an evening look and I just think it's really versatile and great for all looks and all skin tones, all eye colours so yeah my first product is the Naked 3 palette. Next won't be a surprise if you've watched my videos for a little while, it is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. This has been my favourite. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with it. I just think it's an amazing foundation. I'm the shade 2 um, and I just think it matches me more or less perfectly and I've never found that with the foundation. You can say it's kind of pricey, it's £29.50 I think. I cannot tell you how many bottles I've gone through of this. I love it. I love it, it stays on all day long, see it's really nice to look at, um, but I really like it and Charlotte Tilbury has probably been my favourite brand this year, I would say, to be honest, so yeah, favourite foundation is 100% the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. If you're keen onto Charlotte Tilbury, I have absolutely loved the Lip Cheat Lip Pencil Lip Liner in Pillow Talk, I'm like probably sure that this is her most popular one. It's amazing. I bought my first one in May and again, I cannot tell you how many of these I've gone through. I love them. They do last a long time, but I use them every single day. I would always wear it with a nude. I just think the colour is absolutely perfect and if anyone is looking for a very nice nude lip liner, like an everyday lip liner, then this one is a really good one. Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Love it, love it, love it. Back to the theme of eyes, I absolutely love the Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoos. I think I own all of them, obviously I'm only going to hold up two because otherwise I'd be like juggling them. They last for such a long time. This one's my favourite and I've used it the most. It is in the shade on an on bronze. I've used it the most. I just love it. They literally do last all day long which I think is absolutely brilliant. I just cannot rave enough about them and they're extremely affordable because they're Maybelline. So I really like them. I'm really impressed with them and I really enjoy using them and they're really easy to blend as well which um, I really really like so that's those. Also I have been really enjoying the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly. This is basically like a cream eyeshadow I want to say. That's how I would explain it. Uh, this is basically just a nude but I really like it for underneath eyeshadow as like an eye base. It works really well as a primer. Um, I guess if you have a darker skin tone to me, you might want a slightly darker colour. Um, but for me it's perfect and I really enjoy using it and it does definitely make a difference with my eyeshadow stain on. Um, but it's just a really nice product. Next is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact in Rose. I bought this for how long ago? I think I got this in July, but I've just loved it though. It is expensive. I'm pretty sure it's like £36, £33, £36. Really, really nice highlighter. I've really enjoyed using it. And a few other shades as well, which I would definitely look into. And this is the sort of product that even though it is quite pricey, um, I think it would take a very long time to wear it down. It literally looks like I haven't touched it and I use it majority of days. Um, I just really like it with a nice pink light blusher. So um, that is that. Next is a kind of, it's sort of a bit of a cheat. Um, it is a new product, but it's a product that I am like, yep, yeah, this has been my favorite throughout the whole year. Um, it's from Freedom Makeup and it's the Pro Contour Kit. It looks like this. This was £3.50 and I am so impressed. This is in the shade Medium 2, I think it is. Yeah, it's basically a powder contour. These are perfect. Like I said, £3.50. It's amazing. You can get it in Superdrug. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So I'm loving... Um, freedom makeup at the moment. I follow their Instagram. I'm just like 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 like. Next is brushes and if you've seen any of my tutorials you'll probably have noticed that I constantly use Zoeva brushes. I love Zoeva brushes. Number one because they're very nice to look at. Number two they're very affordable and easy to get hold of. And number three they're just great. I've used this more or less every single day for last year and it is still like good as gold. <laughs> get it. 
really, really like them. Again, really affordable and really, really good quality. Then a really random thing is this pencil sharpener from number seven. I'm pretty sure this is four pound, but number seven always give out vouchers and you get three pound off makeup, I'm pretty sure. So it makes it a pound for a sharpener. It's a really, really good sharpener. It's a really good sharpener for things like lip liners, eyeliners, and even chubby sticks, as I like to call them, like big jumbo lip crayons. It's just a really good, handy thing to have. And the last thing that I want to talk about was just perfumes because I really like to chop and change day to day with perfumes. But these are three that I've constantly gone back to, which for me is a big deal. So I wanted to mention them in this video. The first one, which I have sadly now run out of, is the Chanel Chance. This is the Eau de Parfum. It just smells amazing. I'm like really trying to squeeze it out. Oh, I can feel a bit. Oh, I just love it like it's just taken over the whole room I just love this perfume I cannot say enough about it it's really concentrated but it's really nice and fresh um, kind of florally I'm literally the worst that describes the smell so I don't know why I have bothered if you want to know what I smell like it's uh, Chance by Chanel though. the next one which I'm again basically out of is Black Opium by YSL I love this stuff this is such an evening December scent for me like a party thing is when I wear a perfume and I perhaps do something or go somewhere or I wear it at a certain time of the year to me that's just what it smells like if you're kind of after sort of a deeper scent as a woman then something like this is great again it's worse out so it's pricey but I love it I absolutely love it well, I've just got a mixture of the both oh wait a second I might be onto something here no no that's never gonna work and the last scent is something that I got very recently but I have wanted as soon as it came out and it is the Olympia by Paco Rabanne. Right, number one, the bottle's amazing, like it's so beautiful. I got this when it was Black Friday for £42, I want to say, it's normally 53 for this and like a body lotion. Um, so again, it is quite pricey but for perfumes, like I just, I just, myself, I prefer pricier ones because I just think they smell loads nicer. This is completely different altogether. For me this is something that you would probably wear in spring or summer. I did buy it in winter um, saying that but however I would wear this more in spring when I just want a light fragrance but it's so lovely like you need to go and smell it if you haven't smelled it. It's, it's incredible. I love it. And that is everything for this video so I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry that I didn't mention loads of products but I wanted to just mention products that I actually have enjoyed using throughout the majority of the year. So give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos and I will see you very, very soon in another video.